I'm Frank and I'm excited to present this joint work together with Felix and Philip Hennig. The most popular approach to monitor training deep neural networks is to track the mini-batch loss. But such a simple diagnostic fails to describe what is going on inside the network. Consider these two training runs with almost identical losses. If we look at their trajectories in parameter space, we see that despite the similar loss, both present two vastly different behaviors. For deep neural networks with millions of parameters, it is impossible to inspect these trajectories directly. But clearly, we need tools that provide a more meaningful status report during training than just the loss. As a step forward, we present Cockpit, an easy to use and efficient debugger for deep neural networks. It consists of a collection of statistical and geometrical quantities that offer a much richer view of what is going on inside deep networks. And we hope that with this live monitoring tool, that it will make your neural network training process a little less painful. We used traditional debuggers when the function, classes, or scripts that we wrote did not provide the desired results. In those cases, we do not look at the very low-level information inspecting the zeros and ones of our code. Instead, a debugger summarizes all this low-level information into a more meaningful and understandable status report, for example, by telling us the values of each variable inside a function. Now, we believe for deep learning we need a similar tool. In deep learning, we can run into training bugs, for example, wrongly chosen hyperparameters or inefficient model architectures. Now, these types of bugs are much harder to detect and can in some cases only reveal themselves hours or even days into the training process. In this case, using a classical debugger would be very similar to looking at the zeros and ones, since this can provide us with the exact values of all weights in the network. But these millions of numbers do not provide understanding. Instead, we need a debugger for deep learning that again takes all this low-level information and summarizes it into meaningful insights. With Cockpit, we provide such a debugger for deep learning. All right, let's look at a simple use case for Cockpit. Suppose that we're given two neural networks and we train them with gradient descent. And we observe that the blue network drains significantly faster than the orange one. And I first suspect why this may be is the gradient distribution. But we can actually see in the plots that those are quite similar. So what are we missing here exactly? And in fact, we can only see the difference when we take one step further and inspect the gradients per layer. And now we can clearly see that the orange network's gradients die and thus those layers close to the input train slowly. And that's because the blue network uses ReLUs while the orange one has sigmoids. And we could not see the vanishing gradients in the global histogram. And that's because many networks, such as those, have most of their parameters close to the output. And their gradients are well behaved and dominate the full histogram. And we really need a more fine-grained view here to figure out why one of the networks doesn't train. Now, after this deep dive into one of Cockpit's instruments, the gradient histogram, let me now give you a more high-level structure of the full visualization that you've just seen. In the bottom panel, you can see the current deep learning practitioner's view. It shows traditional metrics such as loss, accuracy, and the current learning rate. The left column addresses how the optimizer moves in parameter space. So for instance, you can see the gradient norms and the update step sizes. And with these two, we could have easily disentangled the two loss curves that we have seen in the beginning of the video. The center column appreciates the sum structure in the loss, and it provides statistics of the gradient distribution over samples, and thus visualizes the gradient noise. There's also the gradient histogram that you've just seen in the previous example, and even a two-dimensional version where you can see how parameters and their associated gradients evolve over time. And last but not least, the right column displays curvature information about the lost landscape, so second-order information. Cockpit offers many quantities, and some are well-established. Others have been proposed in recent works, but there are also novel statistical summaries that haven't been explored at all before. To be practical, this information must, of course, be made available at an acceptable overhead. 
and Cockpit relies on the backpack library for PyTorch that efficiently computes most of those quantities during a backward pass. But still, in some cases, the cost range is quite broad because we have cheap byproducts and also second order information. And you might want to trade off the computational load and richness of information depending on what you have in mind. In principle, you can fully customize Cockpit. So you can pick any of the quantities that you see here in this table, and you can even customize how frequently they should be tracked. Out of the box, we provide three different configurations, economy, business, and full, that increase in richness of information. And in our benchmarks, we demonstrate that all of them can be used at practical tracking rates with far less than doubling the training time. In the paper, we motivate that this list of quantities is a good starting point to explore the internals of neural networks. And the code is open source and allows other quantities to be added to further enrich cockpit in the future as well. To summarize our paper, training a neural network is often a painful process of trial and error. The often used performance measures only tell if the model is learning or not, but not why. Traditional debuggers, on the other hand, offer access to all the individual weights, but this does not provide insight. Instead, we pro propose Cockpit, a visual and practical debugging tool specifically designed for deep learning. It offers multiple instruments to monitor the training process, and although some of these instruments use rich second-order information, efficient computation keeps the necessary runtime overhead affordable. Cockpit can extract useful information, which can help identify training bugs, aid with tuning, or even inspire researchers to build new intuitions. Thank you.